Okay. Now, ito, kasama to the certification. So, how do computers communicate sa network ninyo? Well, we have something called unicast. One-to-one -one communication. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Itong PC na to is communicating to this PC only. One-to-one -one communication. Okay. Ano naman ang multicast? It's one-to-many. So, ibig sa, ang, anong ibig sabihin nito? This PC might be communicating simultaneously with this one, this one, and this one, and this one. One to many. So, itong computer na to, nagko-communicate siya dito, 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 and dito. Okay, sa apat na to sa taas, simultaneously. Ang tawag doon is a multicast. Okay. Broadcast naman is one to everybody. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Itong computer na to would need to speak to everybody in the network. Kasama tong switch na to. Okay. Any cast naman is one to the closest. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Okay. Itong computer na to will be speaking to the closest computers, which might be this one and this one only. Okay. So, anong, anong, anong pagkakaiba, sir? Anong pagkakaiba ng multicast and anycast? Okay. So, multicast, one to many. Anycast, one to the closest. It's, it will depend sa application na gagamitin mo. Pero suffice to say, multicast is, um, it's like Spotify. Okay? Si Spotify can communicate with multiple devices at the same time. Okay? Um, Anycast, ginagamit to sa... Saan pa ginagamit ang Anycast? Uh, um, ah, alam ko na. Pag naglalaro kayo ng PUBG or pag naglalaro kayo ng uh, Valorant, di ba, pag nag-connect kayo sa isang online game, meron kayong servers na kinokonektan. Okay? And ano yung servers closest to you? Yun usually yung pinakamaganda ang connection mo. And bakit ganun? Kasi you're using something called an Anycast uh, communication. You're connecting to the closest server. Okay? So multicast, ano bang magandang example ng multicast? You can think of this one as torrent. Para nagto-torrent ka. Okay? So, nabasa lang natin ng aking torrent. <laughs> um... So, may kita niya dito. Uh, wait, let me just... Ayusin ko lang ito. Uh, yan. Okay. So, yan. So, may kita niya dito. Nagtotorrent ako ng... The Good Doctor, dahil hindi ko pa napapanood. <laughs> Season 4. Pero makikita niyo dito, ito yung peers. So, nagsiseed ako ngayon. And wala nagsiseed. So, i-start nga natin to. Q-seeding. Uh, meron bang kumukonek? Yan, oh. Actually, maram pwede silang maraming kumonek sa computer ko to get the uh, this movie kasi it's using multicast communication. Okay. So, that's multicast. Okay, one to many. Any cast is one to the closest, which is usually ginagamit natin majority sa mga games, mga ganyan, or, or streaming services. Okay. So, yan ang network layer and data link. Hopefully, marami kayo natutunan dito sa video na to. I will probably cut this one into smaller segments para mas madaling uh, matutunan. Okay, but suffice to say, yan ang network layer and data link natin. And the only remaining layer ng OSI na pag-uusapan natin is called the transport layer. Ah, pala nakalimutan ko, um, I will be leaving activity 3 okay, after this video um Dito as an assignment for you guys, which is viewing wired and wireless neck information. Yan yung Actavos activity. This is hands-on that you need to do on your own. Um, kung paano ko manipulate ito kanina. Yung, yung 
connectivity ng aking adapters. Okay. How did I do this one? Paano ito mapag-aaralan? This is all taught in your activity 3 assignment, which is an assignment on you, your part. Okay? Kasi itong activity na to, majority of the time, marami kayong gagalawing devices and you need to know how to input the IP address on a computer, on a server, on a printer, and how do you view those informations? Paano mo mahanapin yung MAC address niya? Paano mo i-change yung DNS settings niya? Yung subnet mask niya? And this activity will teach you how. Okay, so do this activity and I'll see you at the transport layer.